Hello everyone, Xenonism here and welcome back to Dicey Warriors Gundam. Last time we did Patrick Stroker story and this time Well I did a feel I had a fair recording of this, so let's get through this let's hopefully get through it as much as I can again. This'll probably be quicker than the last time. <sighs> And you may notice, <laughs> yeah, I had to redo this due to fail recording. Okay, so, Grad, it also did allow me to realize I thought I forgot to put on mechanical sense. No, I didn't. And I do have some things, so I might as well just put them on. This was intended to be a free run, uh, but then fail recording happened. So, let's launch. So I might as well quickly go over things I forgot to talk about in Pat and Mrs. missions because I completely, completely slipped my mind for it. Uh, Pat Prince is the O oh, comes from Zeta Gundam and it's meant to be like this old thing that's only the only thing that can really stand up to it for a while is the Cubile. Because with Camille, with the Zeta technically being able to take it on with Camille, with Camille it, but the Zeta is not meant to be able to try and take it on. I think. It's 
spinning off for Z Zeta. Me and my mind will just start talking about Zaka 2. I hate it. And it's mainly because Sean has two other mobile suits he could be using that for the, one of them is very upgraded. The other is, well, at least got some upgrades. Oh my god. The Zaka 2 is actually the first mobile suit that Amro actually bases Shar in. But, well, Shar is in it. I mean, Amro never really pilots much else other than the actual Gundam itself, so. Uh, It's weird in this game, considering. Uh, sorry, I'm. So, it feels weird for me saying this all over again. So I'm a little bit jilted, uh, <laughs> I guess. If that's the right word, or even is a word, I don't even know if it is. But it's put me off kill killer. Uh, the Zaka 2 is honestly combo wise is not that bad I mean it has a good way of clearing crowds even if it's a bit weird but it just doesn't it also doesn't have the reach of or the reach or the speed of the other other two models that Shar has piloted but at least that is the amazing shark kick that he does. Now let's take on Fieldy and crush the defences. Also the weirdest dash tag ever. Enemy reinforcements have appeared. The the way I would try and talk about Sean, but Sean has the weird case of having being a character that has f again.
And this is one of the things I really like about this, is that specifically because Hero destroyed part of the city, part of the map actually did change. I really like that and I wish they did it much more, especially in the later games where I feel like it would be so much more cool and it wasn't just block off area. Now let's take that. Now, because Shara has the odd case, like I was saying, because I just, I completely blanked. Shara has the odd case of having three different phases, I guess, of his character. What I like to call is the Red Comet phase, the Lieutenant Quattro phase, and the movie phase. The movie phase is the dumbest one of them all, in my opinion, because seriously lines like people are being their souls are being held down by earth's gravity or like I get what they're trying to sort of do but it's it just sounds so dumb it just it just sounds so stupid There's not really much more to talk because now I'm completely blanking because doing this twice does not help. Because I think I said something and then my mind just goes, oh wait, that was previous recording and then it goes, wait, you've said that before and... Now let's go calm, let's go fight. The Undefeated of the East. Master Asia. And we've cut right through them. Oh my god. Actually, you could probably talk about one thing. There is a trope that is known as the Shara Clone. Obviously, Gundam has a lot of those. There's one thing I've always been curious of. 
is what would Shar what would Shar actually say if he was faced with each of the Shar clones? Like if he had to if he had to literally if all the Shar clones were somehow able to meet up in one place in time, only them and they were not they were they had to actually first speak about well who they are first of all but also bring out why they wear their masks and all that or something like that I, I really don't know, just, just, just something about, I feel like it'd be funny just Shar having to talk to other Shar clones. And that's the first mission. Quite a bit long. So, with that, next time on Dynasty Warriors Gundam. Hopefully, with no more field recordings, we should be taking on the abandoned ruins. This is Zeno and Azuma, signing out.